Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel this weekend, guys, as Barca return to action on Sunday with yet another massive, massive game. It is the Catalan Derby against High Flying Girona because, incredibly, they are a team here who enter the weekend in La Liga joint top with Real Madrid. They have had a remarkable start to the season and that means right here it's another big test for Barca following on now from the Atletico Madrid game, this is another crucial one for Xavi and for his players. And can we step up again? Can we continue to make that progress? We're going to be talking all about it today. So let's do it. Now, today's video, guys, is coming to you courtesy of SofaScore, who I have to say, I am so, so happy here to be working together with SofaScore because I've loved their app for such a long time because you've got to love their player rating system. You don't find that on any other app. It's a really, really unique way of seeing performance. And I think as well, the deeper insights that you get, you can see things there like average positions of each player on the field and literally every other stat that you could think of it's right there at your fingertips. And along with all of this as well, SofaScore also happens to be the fastest live score app in the world. Nobody at all can beat them. And if you are a big football fan, and I know that you are, that is why I thought this would be very, very relevant to you guys. You can check out there and download the SofaScore app today. And if you do, if you could use the link in the description there, follow that link. It'll take you straight over to download the app. That would be a really, really big help to the channel to keep the videos coming. Thank you to all of you guys. Because when you are moving on to the big game on Sunday, and it is a really big game for Barca again here, because look at the league table. Look at where we are. Look at where Girona are. This is crucial. This really, really is again this weekend because we are currently four points adrift of Girona, also four points behind Real Madrid. We've, of course, temporarily at least moved ahead of Atletico Madrid. They still hold that game in hand on us. So again, we're in the situation, guys, whereby no room for error. We have moved forward. We have got a really important win last weekend, but there's still no time for any slip-ups here. We have to keep moving forward together. And what is absolutely incredible about this game is the way that Girona are coming into it. Because you look at their form, this is no fluke. They are not second in the league because they've gotten a bit lucky, because they've had a decent start to the season. They are there because they're top quality, because week upon week upon week in La Liga, they have just continued winning. It has been absolutely extraordinary to see. The only blip really there is the Real Madrid game. They played Real Madrid at home. They didn't really play all that well in that game. They went down 3-0. So that is maybe something the Barca can look at and think, OK, can we put the pressure on them? Can we force them to not play at the level they have been? But full credit to them. They have been brilliant this season. And of course, a driving part of that, at the heart of their defence, it's our very own Eric Garcia and he will be playing against Barca on Sunday. There is no clause there in his contract that says he cannot play. Chaffee admitted today they would have liked to have put one in there but the deal had to be done so quickly and at the very last minute that there was no time to put a fear clause in that deal. So Eric Garcia who's been so good for Girona will play his part tomorrow. Pablo Torre though he will not be involved. He of course is also on loan from Barca. Barca though did manage to include the fear clause and that means that he will not be in action he hasn't really played as much as we would have hoped this season. I think recently, to be honest, though, he started to come more into Michel's plans at Girona. He scored midweek in the Copa del Rey. Really good goal that was for Pablo Torre. And hopefully now in the weeks to come, they've got a few injuries coming, so he might be able to get more minutes and more of an influence in this team. Because, of course, the aim is to get him playing and playing as regularly as possible. And that is not all either on the Girona side of things, because I want to talk here about Alex Garcia. He actually did an interview, the Girona mid fielder with Movistar on Tuesday and I thought it was very interesting what he said. He said, I would like to play for Barcelona. I'm going to come out and say it. I want to play for Barca. It's the club that I followed since I was a little kid and that I have always, always liked. I would love to play there one day. And those words, as you'd imagine and especially, I think, ahead of this game, you know, just days before Girona's big game against Barca, they've not gone down too well in Girona. Michel, the coach there, he said, I think what Alex said was wrong at Girona. 
we need to have players here who are 100% committed to the club. So they're not really happy with what he said. But I've got to say, guys, he's somebody to keep an eye on in tomorrow's game, beyond tomorrow as well, looking at transfer windows to come, perhaps, because he has been, for me, one of the most underrated midfielders in La Liga this season. He's such a well-rounded player. He makes such good runs forward. He's always contributed in so many different areas. He covers so much ground. And he's been running things from the heart of Girona's midfield this season. So certainly keep an eye on him on Sunday. Day, and also keep an eye on him ahead of those transfer windows because of the likes of Eric Garcia at Girona, because as well of Pablo Torre there. Don't forget Girona have not hidden their desire to bring back Oriol Romeo to the club. So there's lots of interest there between Barca and Girona for different players. So Alex Garcia, keep an eye on him. But of course, looking at Sunday, one of the players as well that we will also be keeping an eye on, it's Robert Lewandowski. Because his performance, again, I feel it's going to be under the microscope. There's going to be a lot of attention on him because he is on a three game run now again without a goal and I think when you go back even further than that too he's only scored in one of his last ten Barcelona matches. He's only scored in one of his last ten those are not Lewandowski numbers and he actually did an interview as well this week with Marca where he said he understands the expectations at Barca. He said I know that we are Barcelona and everybody expects us to score lots of goals and not just win but win playing well but he said at the beginning of the season things were not perfect. He said we did not create many chances it was difficult for me to score goals and although to be honest guys I can certainly sympathize you know at the start of the season with Lewandowski there the chances weren't really arriving we weren't really creating anything of note at all and it was very very difficult for us I think now though we're starting to see improvement and I think you look at the game against Atletico Madrid when chance after chance after chance fell to Lewandowski nothing went right for him he missed three big chances in the Atletico Madrid game and even more incredibly than that in all of the those chances and the four shots that he had, none of them were on target. He did not even hit the target. And these are just not things that you associate with Robert Lewandowski. These are things that we just haven't seen from him throughout his career. And I think we're all hoping now, Lewandowski I'm sure included, that something has to give. But I think when you are looking at the lineup this Sunday, guys, the one question that you would ask here of Xavi is... Do you make any changes? Do you actually change a winning team here in any way? Because as illustrated here by our friends at SofaScore, it was such a solid display against Atletico Company from every single Barcelona player. It wasn't just one or two players contributing. It was every player there working as one, working as a unit, and everybody right across the board put in a really, really good team display. And I think you add to that as well, we are having here, we just had one week of full rest. That is very rare for Barca to have. Chaffee's had the entire week there with them on the training ground and that put us in a great position. It means that if we wanted to, we could go into this game unchanged. We haven't been forced into anything here and Xavi again has full license to go as strong as he needs. Because certainly in goal, it is going to be another big game for Iñaki Peña. And even more so now, guys, because we know we've got to count on him for the coming months. We've got to replace Mark andre Tastegen as that number one until he is back. And Peña has got huge, huge opportunities here in this Barcelona team. And then as well, guys, I look at Jules Koundé. Now, how well did he play at right back against Atletico Madrid? And I think it's getting to the point now where you've actually got to say to him, OK, Jules, I know you don't like like playing right back, but you're not playing as a right back. It's a right centre back. We're just playing you a little bit further out to the right side. It's not a right back. Don't think you're a right back. You're not. You have to play there because he plays so well and it works really well in the team, doesn't it? Our back four looks so much more balanced. It looks dynamic, but also more secure with him on the right side and having Cancelo going forward on the left. So I would line up there with an unchanged back four. Araujo will be wearing a protective mask. Christensen became a father for the second time this week but he trained without any problems today so the back four stays as it is for me and why would you change the midfield that's the next question there why would you change anything about that trio there Gundogan Pedri and indeed Frankie de Jong when they're available when they're fit when they've had a good amount of rest I think you start them together because they were brilliant absolutely brilliant against Atletico Madrid and then there's the attack isn't there Xiao Felix he's going to want to follow up his goal against Atleti he was a little bit ill of course after that game but I think he's absolutely fine now Lewandowski I expect expect him to start down the middle. I don't really think Chaffee is going to change that around. And on the right-hand side, Rafinha, I would expect him to start this game once again because I think he did enough against Atletico Madrid to keep his place in the team. And that is why, guys, I probably would leave it unchanged. I don't really think there's any reason to alter what we showed
showed against Atletico Madrid. I think all of these players played well enough to keep their place. You know, if you're doing well, if you're playing well, you deserve to stay out there, especially with the week of rest that we have had. So let me know your thoughts there on the lineup, because when it comes down to the predictions, I would say right now, the confidence is there amongst Barca fans. We are certainly motivated, excited by what we saw against Atletico. We're hopeful here that we can keep moving forward together, but there's still scepticism. We still don't want to fall back here. We don't want to take one step forward and get shoved two spaces back. This is a really important game for us. I think we've got to come in here and play the same way. Be fearless. Start from the first minute. These are all really, really important things. And I hope we can do it, guys. Girona are a very good team. We cannot underestimate them. We cannot take them lightly. They will threaten us. But we have to respond well. We have to follow on from the win against Atletico Madrid. And do let me know, guys, all of your predictions in the comments down below. Thank you indeed today for tuning in. I will see you after the game for all of the reaction. And a big thank you indeed for all of you guys that do check out Sofa Score from the link in the description. I really appreciate that. And I will see you very, very soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca. Yeah, I'll bust ya. Uh...